what's up you guys as you can see um Coraline has pretty much the green like Coraline is on my front glass so in my new bill I will be taking more care of Coraline algae it was just harder to do in this tank but the thing is, is if I was to stick my finger in there and just wipe it like which I already done let me see see how there's a clear spot here's another clear spot I mean, there's another clear spot see how it, cloudy clear but anyway just give me a hand in there and scraping it with my finger was good enough so they let me know it does come off if I chose to use a razor which I might not do on this curved tank but anyway like I said um, this is about the goodies the new goodies but anyway um, let's show you the new build and something interesting so let's show you that okay this is the cannon before the new build of course those are my buckets because I'm when I get ready to swap everything over and uh, of course you can see my mess hall got a 75 gallon I drilled it myself um, I did the stand myself did pretty much everything myself and this is the new build pretty much it's a 75 gallon um, I just went up a little bit from the 54 gallon because of the fact that anyway that's for another video um, I'm still in the apartment so by me being in an apartment I can't put much in here especially not what I want which is a 280 peninsula but whatever so let me show you something see nothing familiar right well, this is technically the TW25 Wave Maker. As we all know, Jabor makes uh, tons of Wave Makers, and they're, and they're pretty decent compared to the other ones for the price. You pay 60 bucks for one of these, and this is a T20, TW25, which is way stronger than my WP10s um, that I have. But anyway, let me show you something interesting. This is a Jabor Wave Maker, and we all know this, but let's show you something. This is going on a new build, by the way. All right, and here we are. Look at that. Jabor makes LED lights now. They have one that almost, to be honest, looks like a Kessel. And I'm pretty sure Jabor is pretty decent for um, mimicking other quality things. And their stuff is quality to me. If you ask me, I have three WP10s. One of them did go out on me. The controller still worked, but the other two works just fine. And this is over a three-year period. So if one goes out in three years, that's not bad at all. But anyway, like I said, like I said, Jabor does. They now make LEDs. And they've been actually making LEDs. And um, this is the one that I picked up uh, for the aquarium. Now, I am probably the first one in America with this, which I am happy to say. And the thing is, is that I'm going to be able to document all the stuff that goes on with this light before anyone else. And the thing is, of course, we all have, most of us have their wave makers or giving them a chance. And a lot of us become, we're pleased with it. Of course, some loyalty brand people didn't like it much. You know how they are. But anyway, we're moving forward. As you can see, this is the 150 watt, I believe, 150 watt uh LED fixture which is Wi-Fi capable so I am able to do a lot of things just like the Radian hopefully this is if not better than the Radian next to it uh, it was significantly cheaper but whatever so we're going to see when I say cheaper it's like half the price but